Alrighty then, the Sangyong Rodius. A few issues with this design, I think we can solve them. I have an idea and I'm gonna show you what that idea is. It's a simple little twist <laughs> that, I, that I think will make this look so much better. Rosie, can you chill out over there? Thank you. I'm making a video over here. So, the main problem that I have with this car, with this van, or whatever this is, Land Yacht, Yacht Designer, uh, designed it. Uh, try, I get, I, I think he, he should have stuck with designing yachts, but the problem I have with it is this part right here. It looks like either this part right here, delete it completely and make it into a coupe, something like this, or a coupe. But that would obviously defeat the purpose of this being able to, uh, you know, it's kind of an airport shuttle car, a taxi, a cab. Here it is in the fish market in London, uh, picking up some stuff, I guess. So that's not gonna work. We can't, we can't do that. We can't, we can't change the format of this car. So what I'm gonna do is just select this part right here, uh, like that, and copy it. Now look at this. Look at this. Bam! It's pretty much fixed already. We just need to make some, you know, tweaks to this and it sh we should be good to go. So, I think this looks a lot better. Hold on, not right now. I mean, I'm gonna fix it. But the idea of just switching that upside down, so we have it something like this. Right here. I'm gonna have to fix the rear window. The rear, the, the last row of passengers are probably not going to have the same uh, visibility outside. But, uh, you know, that's that's some trade-off you have to make uh, to, to remove this extreme ugliness of this car. So look at that. All of a sudden, it looks like a decent-looking van. What we got to do now is just to try to connect all these dots that are loose here on the car. So let's let's let, 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 let's let's see what we can do. First of all, I want to see if we can warp this thing and then erase of course what we don't need. And then I'm going to just pick the same color as we have up here and extend that line up until so that it connects connects up here with the rest of the uh, side of the window. Something like this. Let's see if we let's see if we can make this work here. And we can probably just copy this part and then just stretch it out like this. Look at that. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. This is coming together, and we were we we've only been sketching for like two minutes or something. So I have faith. I have faith we can make this work. We just need to figure out a couple of details. Uh, maybe pimp it out a little bit, add some rims to it, add a spoiler, the sport package in the back, uh, or something cool like that. I mean, it's Sunday, so let's just go crazy with this redesign. I just want to have some fun. It's raining outside, there's a thunderstorm coming in, so it's, what else to do than have some fun with this Rodeos in Photoshop? Just trying to, trying to connect these two uh, lines that we have right here. Rosie's trying to catch a gecko over there. And I've probably saved about five geckos in the past week. She just takes them in and then she just stares at them, like playing around with them. So they just sit and have a standoff at the floor. <laughs> so I just pick up the geckos and put them outside. All right, let's see what it looks like over here. I want to add this black part down here. Can't leave, can't leave these details out because if you do that, you're immediately going to see that it's a Photoshop uh, design. It's all in the details. Also, let, let's connect the bottom line down here. So now you get to see in real time a redesign. Uh, I usually don't do it in real time. I just speed everything up. But I think, uh, I thought this time, let's make it differently. And let's just slow everything down, have some fun in Photoshop and uh, see if what we can do with this Rodius. I, I seriously don't know how some cars that exist out on the street, how they pass all the, not quality control, but the design control, like, come on, 
who how many levels of executives does a car have to pass to get in produ into production and i guess this one i uh, like the uh aztec just they must have had some super awesome pitch for the executives to make this into a reality i don't know what that pitch was i would love to hear it so i can learn how to pitch and sell anything because that's obviously what they did here all right so that part is now complete uh let's jump into this part this as you can see here right here it looks weird so we need to fix this and i think i'm just going to extend this bottom part here and have that go into this window down here just create a separation line between the window itself and the uh, body of the car and this line right here is dipping down the wrong way it's dipping down a little bit this way so we have this angle or this uh area here i want it to be the opposite way i want it to dip it down like this so how can we do that first of all let's just fix this i just noticed this white part down here you gotta fix it there we go continue the black line all the way so that it connects with the bottom part because you gotta be able to open this thing and if i'm not adding these lines i'm gonna hear it in the comments how are you supposed to open the rear the trunk when it's closed like that you can open it here right here here's the section line to open this trunk very very easy and it still uh, keeps the original uh open line i guess you would call it i don't know something like that I'm just going to extend it on the far side as well, do uh, the, so that we have a consistent line at the rear so it doesn't turn into a Range uh, Land Rover with all kinds of awkwardness going on in the rear. There, okay. Okay, I'm done now. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's jump in and do some Liquify with this thing. See if that might help it. So Liquify is this tool that does. You can go like crazy with this and change it in any direction you want. But if you overdo it, you're definitely going to see it in the design because the lines are not uh, straight and they're not clean and they can't they can't can, think even the slightest little wobble you're gonna see it in the uh, in the final image so try to make it straight and uh, don't overdo the liquify tool because that's just gonna look like a mess let's see how this looks I think it looks pretty good actually I'm not I'm, I'm not too uh... Uh, I'm pretty surprised actually how how, uh, how easy that was to do so let's same thing here we have a section line up here let's let's first of all pick the correct layer step number one and then we can add this section line that goes all the way there we go we could also if you want to we we could if we wanted to not necessarily it's not a it's not a must but we can add a uh, highlight that goes on this window part if Photoshop just w comes to life here sometimes it lags the brush strokes lag so I think I need a new computer this is like four years old I think but the thing was with getting a new computer you need to uh, migrate everything and you need to do all this time-consuming stuff that it, uh, I, I just don't want to do it yet eventually sooner or later I'm gonna have to do it so let's see how this goes How's it going there, Rosie? Did you get the gecko yet? She can't because there's a window there. She doesn't understand that. I, I admire the effort, though. All right, so that that is pretty... If I were to stop here, I would be happy with this redesign. We just flipped it around. I can show you the before and after here. Like that. There's just something off with the, the, the proportion. It looks like a... a uh, I think it's the Mercedes G... GLC or the the coupe the coupe SUV Mercedes it looks like that and then it looks like a van just slammed into the rear of it and the only part of the van that sticks out it is the <laughs> is the top part of it uh, so that I think just the proportion is just off on this car but I think we kind of fixed it here uh, at least uh, at least for the better it's, it's stepped up just a notch in 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 beauty in the beauty list uh, it's not beautiful by any means, but it's it's not it's not gonna give you nightmares now when you look at it. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just go crazy and just have some fun with this stuff. Add maybe add a spoiler up here, not a spoiler, but an integrated 
duck tail that goes something like this. Uh, switch up the rims, put some Boston rims on there. Maybe add some carbon fiber down here. Because why not? This is Photoshop, we can do whatever we want. Maybe add a diffuser in the back. So uh, let's do that. I'm not going to do that in real time though. I'm going to speed this up and come back at the end of this video. Alright, so there we have it. That's the Sangyong Rodius redesign. Now, I'm gonna tell you why I did this, these things that I did on the redesign and uh, the reason for it, design, uh, talking from a design standpoint. So the problem that, that we have with the Rodius is, th is this. It looks very, very back heavy when you look at the stock uh, Rodius. And the reason for that is because all of the lines that you see are pointing towards the bottom of the car is pointing toward the, at the rear. Everything comes together and pointing and is pointing down, which you can see right here. Let me show it to you like this a lot easier. We have this line and then we have the headlights and then we have this line as well. The, the bottom of the headlights, all of this are pointing and of course the same on the far side. So everything is just pointing down. So what I wanted to do is create more of an arrow look. So you have uh, the, 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 the lines that comes from the front, they, they go along the side and then just swoop up like an arrow. And that gives the car, when you look at it from a side view, it's going to give it some more direction, which you can see here. So here, we, have, we still have the bottom lines pointing down like this. 
but we change this line right here to point up like this. Let's see if I can make an arrow. <laughs> Let's see if I can make an arrow in this. Uh... Ah, crap. Let's just do it like this. Easier. There we go. Rotate it back. So now we have some more dynamic movements in this design. As you can see, there's a lot more lines and flow in the design. And that's pretty much with what the problem is with the Rodius. R Rodius? I can't remember the name of this car now, but Rodius. Uh, so once we change that, everything looks fine. And these rims, of course, rims and all of these exhausts, and that's just for fun. That's just, that's, that's just me having some fun in Photoshop. But at the same time, wheels can make such a huge different difference on a car. And I also wanted to add these uh, side skirts down here to pretty much bring the whole car down to the ground. And also the rims, the, the height of the rim also helps with this because it fills up this gap, this distance here more than, the, than this distance here. So it doesn't look like an off-roader. So, that's about it for this redesign. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you prefer the orig original or do you prefer the redesign? I mean, if you prefer the original, I don't know what's wrong with you. But that's cool. That's cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.